All right, today we're going to go over eTracker HQ, um, specifically um, regarding lock checks and barcode scanning, um, utilizing eTracker's field status um, that is done out in the field at the various properties. First thing I'm going to do is, um, whether I'm a manager um, coming on, uh, on here after uh, my lock check or um, a district manager or supervisor wants to review information, you go in here and you can go directly into unit conflict report. A unit conflict report um, tells you what is conflicting between your unit system status and your unit eTracker field status. The system status is whatever your management software is, and the eTracker field status is what you're physically um, out in the field scanning and updating. So in this case, I'm going to go to the San Leandro uh, facility. I'm going to do a quick search. I've done a lock check. I've come back to the office. I want to see, okay, scanned everything, and I want to see what's conflicting and what I need to address, what needs to be rectified. And right away, you can see uh, the unit, um, what the system status is, which again is your management software status, and what the field status is, is which you um, updated uh, out in the field, or, or you as in myself as well, the last time it was scanned by who and so forth. So I know these are the units that need to be rectified. Now, you can always save this report if you want to do. You can um, add a new COPS report. You can have that um, emailed out to you periodically as well, sometimes in the morning before you come in or, or before you leave, just to make sure there are no more units that are conflicting. Um, another popular report um, is a unit status report. Now, the status report allows you to, um, let's say, I'll look at all my facilities, and you can actually drill down and select particular statuses, including different system statuses, will come from your management software, or maybe just your e-track or field statuses. In this case, I want to see all my units, and I want to know all of them that currently have no lock on there, no lock being the name of one of the field statuses that I've created in my settings. And I can see here that there are 19 units across all my properties um, that at the moment do not have a lock. And you can see the last date it was scanned um, and by who, so forth, who the tenant is and whatnot. Now, you can also save this report and, and have it emailed to you as well. Um, you can also drill into a particular unit if you want to. So let's say I want to look into A100. What you'll see and what eTracker is now allowing you to do is it's building a whole, a whole historical log um, a digital a digital trail, if you will, of the various uh, field statuses that that unit's been under at a different gate, date and time. So you can see who the staff, the employee was, um, and what they had scanned it into and what date. If it's in orange and it, it's marked as NS, that means it was not physically scanned in front of the unit. Um, they must have done it on the unit listing on the phone or directly in HQ. If it's in white, that means um, that individual was in front of the unit and scanned it. Uh, useful information. And that is it. Thank you.